Yeah, welcome yes. back to the Adulthood Podcast. Yes. This is volume 58 coming at you May 20th. We have a great podcast. We got a lot to get into on this podcast. We break down DJ APM's birthday. I run into a heckler in Vancouver and other fun stories along the way. Thank y'all for listening. Please don't forget to follow Adulthood Pod on Instagram. If you want to see me on the road, I'm uh, I'm away this week. I'll be in Dubai. And uh, next, actually, no, I'll be coming back from Dubai this week. Uh, next week, I'll be in the Greensboro Comedy Zone. Carolina? In, yeah, in Greensboro, North Carolina from the 24th to the 25th. And next weekend, the 31st and the 1st, I'll be in Dayton, Ohio at the Dayton Funny Bone. Go to ianlowlive.com uh, for all tickets and dates. Every month is Autism Awareness Month. Thank y'all for listening. I don't have Peace. Click and we're live. Are we, are, we, are we on? Welcome back to the Adulthood Podcast, baby. This uh, is volume 58 coming at you on May 20th. If you want to hit us up, call us 347-378-9423. Holla at us. Follow at Adulthood on Instagram. At Adulthood Pod. At Adulthood Pod, right? Mm-hmm. At Adulthood Pod on Instagram. At Adulthood Pod on TikTok. Follow mm-hmm. us while TikTok is still legal. Uh-huh. If you don't know... I'm Ian Lara. This is DJ APM. Hi. We got Marty B behind the class. <laughs> <laughs> and Johan de Zohan. De Zohan. It's like Cardi B, but but, but, but Marty, but Marty so B. Yeah. We gotta run with that. Yeah, that was not bad. Yeah. We gotta run with that. And uh we're coming at you hot because we haven't uh done a pod in like three weeks. We have a lot, a ton a of lot, stuff to get into. A lot. A lot of things to get into. This Boom. is gonna be a good episode. We saged. Yeah, before we get started, we I know we're wearing uh these are autism awareness. It was autism awareness month last month in April, correct, Marty? Mm-hmm. Thank you. And one of our listeners, I saw her in Albany. Actually, she ran into me at the hotel. I was just sitting in the lobby like a regular folk. Uh-huh. And she came up to me and she was like, I'm actually in town to see your show. Cool. I can't believe you're staying at this hotel. And I was like, Yeah, you know, I'm poor. And then she was like, Yeah, me too. <laughs> and then she was like, Oh, I actually got a gift for you. And she walked to a car and she got a gift for all of us. And it was these awesome autism awareness Man, uh, shirts. That's so cool. And she got my size right. You know, Yeah, I'm I didn't very, think she would do I didn't I, think she would get that right. I'm very that particular crazy. about size. I appreciate you. And I yeah. think it might be. You're a size kid. I'm a size kid. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, happy belated birthday. She might be celebrating a birthday when this came out. I think so. I'm oh, not sure. okay. Well, yeah. I, I, maybe she went to see my show as a birthday. I'm a good birthday gift That's at yeah, my show. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think that's a good gift. Yeah. Um, we got so much things to get into. First of all, we got to get this because everybody I know at this point is probably done, but everybody has addressed it on their pod and we haven't kind of met since the whole thing went down, but Trump, I don't want to be- the Trump case? No, I don't want to be, look, oh. I, I, you know, I don't want to be controversial and we don't talk about politics or religion here, but I got to bring this up. Tell us what? Drake versus Kendrick. Oh. This is this is what's one of the biggest things happening in in, in, in the, the universe in geopolitical news. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Um. It was. You know what I noticed while this was happening. Talk to me. First of all. Yes. What Kendrick won? It's 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 uh it's easy to say that. I'll say Kendrick won now uh-huh. because Kendrick released a song that went number one on Billboard. They not like us. Yeah. They not like us. That's objectively, if you release a song that goes number one, objectively, you had to win the battle, right? But not only that, you got people bopping in the club to a diss song. So yeah, which which a, 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 and he went number one. Which is just a play out of Drake's handbook. That's what Drake did on back to back. In the burn book? Yeah, yeah. That's he just kind of just did that. Um, which fine, look, whatever. I like Kendrick. I'm a Kendrick fan. Uh-huh. But I think that this battle seemed like it was way more Drake hate than it was Kendrick love. Way more. Way more. Definitely. People just like to hate the boy. Are you talking about industry or just in general? All over. All bro. over. All it over. Gener- it was just general on Drake hate. On my feed. Hate. On oh. my, and I saw a good meme about it. I, uh, there was a meme that was like, oh, everybody loved to hate Drake till it's time to post your Spotify recap. Uh-huh. And, and, then, and then the boy is top three. Here's my thing. Here's my What's your thing. thing? My thing is that, like, you know, lyrics aside, content aside, I had to start doing the math. I'm like, hold on, like, you know, like 70% of the nightlife set is Drizzy. It has Some, to be. It somehow, is. some way. It is. So I'm like, I, right, you know, if he's losing, I'm losing. What, what, what do I got? So they already took, you know, you know who they took. Then they took away who else this year. Now you're going to try to take away what am I supposed to play? Also, I'll say this. 
everybody, I mean, is clearly just is clearly hate. Like Big I mean, time. that that's that's a top level of success. You reach a level of success where it kind of becomes normal to hate the you. The Tom people, Brady people love you so much that now the only the 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 next thing after love is just hate again. It uh -huh. kind of it kind of recycles. Jay Z warmed them. About oh, this on his second album, he's like up. Drake, just how they gonna come at you with silly rap feuds, feuds, trying to distract you, which is the exact same thing that happened. But whatever, you want to hate him, you want to hate him. I thought it was funny though how far we've come along. I had a, I was doing a bit about this, like we've come along so far in like rap. Back in the day, like when there was a rap battle, it was like calling each other all types of names and how they were soft and how they was punks and how they, when they saw them, they was going to smack them. Guns. The last two battles with Drake, we've literally has come at Drake for being a bad father. Mm. That's been like the, oh my God, Progression. could you believe he's a bad dad? He's hiding his kids. <laughs> yeah, that's like a, that's like the most offensive mm. thing now to call, mm. which is actually progression. It's yeah, kind of nice. Yeah. In, that, in rap. That as a rapper now, you got to take care of your kids, kids because if you don't, your nemesis is going to bring it up. On the record. Yeah. On the record. On, on the slap. Yeah. They not like us. Yeah. That, well, that's all I'll say about the battle. Mm. Pick whoever you want to pick. But this is another thing that like this. I've been going down this path for a long time, but this has only confirmed it more on my opinion that. People's opinion are just like people just think that their opinion is Matters. fact. Yeah. Yeah. It's just. It's just hilarious to see how much they think that their opinion matters. And then, of course, throwing it on their socials. So, like, the stories, especially, like, every time a record would drop, it would just be, like, you could see who was leaning towards who. Yeah, it was just fans cheering friends, for their who, artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it what it was. Like, it was just fans cheering for their artists. And don't get me wrong. I'm a human just like everyone else. And, you know, I, I think your opinion. I thought she was a Virgo. Yeah, yeah, that was Virgo, too. But your opinion is... An opinion, you know, that's fine. But just the notion that it's relevant and matters is just crazy. I mean, that's the that's the society we live in. Like, I don't even think I don't think my opinion matters. Like, I just say it because some people find it entertaining, and we get free T-shirts, so they listen to it. Yeah, but we but, support the movement, of course. But, right, of course. Right, but I, I other people, I, I, I'm like, why would you comment something? I and brought this up before. I, I, the interesting thing about comments is just like y'all don't have nothing to do. That'd be my thing. Like. First of all, I got arthritis in my shoulder. I'm, I'm going to yeah. always lean on that. I got carpal tunnel. See? So second of all, it's just like, man, between going to PT and then having a day job and a relationship and family, who has time to comment? I can't imagine how miserable your life has to be if, where you're commenting on posts and videos. And with that being said, please comment on our posts and our videos that I, we post every day. We could really use the interaction. Adulthood pod. Yeah, so if you could start arguing and calling us names in it, that would really help. The please, algorithm. Please. Now you had a big weekend. I had a. Uh, uh, whew, I'm still recovering. Yeah, birthday weekend. Whoa. <laughs> Let's get into Whoa. it. Whoa. I am still recovering. Um. Yeah. So uh, I've reached that milestone. 35, 30 fizzle. Uh. Big shout Damn. out to all. Yeah. I know. <laughs> big shout out to all the toys. Marty, whose hair is this in my water? Whoa. <laughs> That's, what is going on? I hope what you're not color in a relationship. Is my hair. Your water? Why is your hair in my water, Marty? Is is that <laughs> is that some type of um it's either mine or it's Ashley's? Is it red or it's black? red? Whoa, it's, it's Ashley's. Ashley's. Why is Ashley's hair in my water? I think she's I trying to do the voodoo's that. on you. So <laughs> 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 she's trying to do the voodoo's on you. This is this is this, this is, is crazy. You are not true to me. Like we ain't been here <laughs> of the number one. We ain't been here in a couple of weeks. On this podcast. <laughs> you got red hair in the water? I have red hair Let in me my check, water. Bro. <laughs> Oh Lord, I'm gonna write a letter to HR. HR, <laughs> that was in my mouth. That is way too intimate <laughs> <laughs> to have her hair in my mouth. It's well, she must have washed the cup with her hair. <laughs> she didn't have her hair net. <laughs> Anyways, you were saying. Anywho, yeah, 35. Um, big shout out to all the tourists out there. I had a great weekend. Um, I'm gonna call it Ultra Palooza. Yeah, it was just now you event. did a party. I, I, it was a surprise party Friday. Oh. Friday was a surprise party. Yes. 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 Uh, Where was it at? It was uh, some spot in Queens, um, a rooftop in Queens. Oh, yeah. I yeah. can't believe I wasn't invited to that. Well, I didn't handle the guest list. Actually, I was invited to that. Uh-huh. I was invited to that weeks ago. Uh-huh. 
Cause your missus uh, hit me up and uh, she told me about your surprise party really? that was gonna happen. Yeah, She's so I one. knew for a long time, and you kept that. And I, yeah, I'm a, I mean, I'm a wow. vault. I'm a vault with secret. Wow. I know a lot of dirt about everyone in here, but I won't say it. Wow. Um, but, Everybody just lied in my face. But I will say this: I did want to do an episode on surprise parties, kind of uh-huh. to throw you off. Uh huh. But I was like, ah, he might, he might pick, I might up, pick on up on it. it. Yeah, he yeah. might pick up yeah, on yeah, it yeah. if we go too hard. Cause yeah. I'm very anti surprise parties. Are you really? Yeah, I don't like them. Why? I Tell like me why. I, I, I'm I, not, can... I like to be in control of okay. things. Okay. Okay. And I feel that I've never met a partner that I feel could get things right. Okay. Without my what well, advice. My partner <laughs> went. She nailed it above and beyond. She got it right. She got it so. She shout got it so her. right that she um invited my cousin from Ohio. Big shout out to the Jeep. Um, and I almost pushed him off the rooftop. I yeah. was so surprised. So, like, that's why I don't like surprises. Now, how did she get you to the rooftop? What so, did she say? There was like a live podcast, a nah, comedy show, um, a she, DJ convention. She what? just said, <laughs> she just said that don't ask no questions. But come on, that's mm-hmm. I would. I was. I go with the flow. I, see, I can't do this because I'm gonna be like, "Well, you got a surprise party for me or something," and, and then she's gonna be like, she been, "Yeah, she's gonna yeah, be like, you know what? It's trial. canceled." Yeah. Uh-huh. Um. So what she said, but, but she could have said, "We're going out to dinner." No, yeah. So I, I was expecting like drinks before dinner. She was just like, "Hey, I got something planned. Don't ask me no questions." Just okay, that's parts. what she said. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Parts. All right, all right. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. said, "I got something planned. Don't ask." So you thinking? I'm uh, thinking drinks. dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Drinks and then dinner, like you know, steakhouse. I love a good. Uh, what is it, Porterhouse? Yeah, that's my jam. Yeah, and didn't ex- didn't get that, so it was a little bit. Now you had about that. no idea, not even not not even a. What about you? Show up to the venue. You're going up to elevator. No clue. I'm thinking we're grabbing regular. We've rooftop. been to the. We've been there before, so uh, I'm thinking that's the pregame. That's the she, we get yeah, drinks. That's a good we, move. We're going to get then we're going to get dinner after somewhere you've already been. Yeah, so I'm non expecting. Yeah, the non expected. Yeah, the non expecting yeah. almost got my cousin. I almost dislocated the shoulder. So when? So at what point did the surprise happen? Like you so, go upstairs, walk us through it. All right, so I'll walk you through it. So first of all, can I go through the whole day? Because she went crazy. Yeah, please. First of all, you know we was talking about suits on here. You know we said like suits is basically like tits for guys. Yes. Right. So she took me to go get. Basically, my augmentation where like she got me a custom suit, custom suit, you know, suits. Yeah, fitted, to, fitted to your measurements, tailored. tailored like, yes, and I realized that I have an awkward body in the sense of big, small, and different areas. But yeah, whatever, very I won't awkward. go into that too much details. So that was the first part of the day. Then, of course, I did turn thirty five. So big we went age. back home, had to take a nap. Of course, before the night. Of course, you woke I'm up early. So long days. Yeah, I'm not going to be outside. Yeah. Without a nap, like no. I don't know if I have to, you know, yeah, yeah, get, get some shoulders in there or something, right? Of course. So boom. So then she's like, "We got to be at the place at seven. So you know, I'm going to get ready." Blah 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 blah. She said, "Wear the suit." No, 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 no. That's another thing too. She didn't tell me what to wear. She oh, just okay. said, "Just dress nice." Did you now? Did you ask like, "What should I?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She was just like, "Cash, but nice." See, but I got to stop you right there because I know you, and I feel like. Because a lot of women are listening and they're thinking like, oh, maybe I'll steal the plan that APM's wifey did and I'll try to impress my boyfriend or uh-huh. whatever. But ladies, that's not a statement you can just tell any man. Mm. Just dress nice. Mm. You got to know that your man has style and knows the difference between nice and because because uh, some men, you tell them dress nice and they'll show up with a Giants jersey and a backward Giants hat and, and jean shorts one. dressed like an undercover cop. And and that's their nice. Right. And this is like, oh, babe, this is what are you talking about? This is uh, this Eli is my, Manning's rookie, rookie year. You know, in some instances, I would have done that, too. Right. Yeah. Right. But you got to know as you got to know your partner key when you give them a direction, especially woman to man sound effect because you tell. Woman dress nice. They usually they know. know. They it, know it, what it's, to. It's, that means slutty. Yeah. They know what to wear. It's, it's inherited. It's yeah. It's like they already. Got but it. you tell man dress nice, and it's a spectrum. Spectrum. Autism. Wide. <laughs> Wide. Callback. Boom. Yeah. Um. So, so what'd you wear? I uh I wore suit. <laughs> jersey. Uh, <laughs> a suit with a jersey. Mm-hmm. Nah. Uh. You know some loafers suit. Uh. Instead of going with the full bun down. You went full suit. Yeah, I like that. But move. I didn't put the jacket on. I like because it was warm. 
So would you? Would you? So I was just. Yeah, just I like that move. Night, you know, when you well, see once you thirty five, <laughs> that's a big because you can't a, a suit if you turn in twenty two, right? And you show up in a suit, they're gonna. It's look, like who is this? Who's this guy trying to be baby genius? Yeah, this is like yeah. a little kid. Yeah, your friends are gonna, up. Your friends but, are gonna get at you. But at thirty five, wearing a suit, you need that, it. that is nice. You need that lets it. you know. Listen, I'm a grown man, and I would like to be in bed at a reasonable time. And I pay taxes. Right. That like, is nice. They just withdrew the taxes from my account. You did a tie too? No, no tie. Okay, that's how I did. Um. Uh, uh, like a buttonless polo. Nice. Fly, Ooh, super nice. Fly, super Very fly. stylish. Yeah. Tucked uh, in. Uh, yeah. Tucked, tucked in. Tucked yes. In. With the with the suit blazer. With the suit over blazer the over. Because it was a warm. Because it was warm. Got it. And also, I realized that I I know you've been going to the gym. I gotta get back in the gym because you know I don't have no skims on. Yeah. So the stomach. The was, fupa. Every every picture. I was, yeah. Hold breathe it in. in. Breathe in. Breathe out. in. Breathe out. <gasps> yeah. I couldn't really eat too much. Now I understand women. You know, when they wear the tight dresses and like, you know, you take them out to a nice dinner and it's like, oh, I have a salad or something like that. Yeah. Oh, is that why they've been doing it? <laughs> oh. Skims was what? 2019? That, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. See? That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So now when you walk out, is your girl, does she like look at what you're wearing and approve it? Or oh, yeah, is she yeah, like, yeah, yeah. She's, she's like, like, all right, this is good? This, okay. She gave me the, the kudos. Okay. Yeah. Um. So... She did the Uber Black. Like, I'm like, Uber oh, Black? Uber Black. Okay. So I'm thinking, all right, we're going to, you know, face it. So well, that's how she started? Or the Denali? Uh, it was actually a Volvo. I okay. Know. I know, but it was but a, really a nice, nice one. one. The, the, G, the G70 or whatever. Okay, like, nice Volvo. The one that looks like the Maybach. Yeah, no, they're yeah. safe. Very yeah. safe Very cars. safe, exactly. Yeah. Um. So I'm like, okay, we're doing the Uber Black because she didn't drive. And we didn't do the X. We didn't even do comfort. Because usually yeah. I do comfort. So usually remember, I do pool. But pool, for your okay. birthday, for your you birthday. wear a suit. They might yeah. like, you know, mess it up. You don't want to sit they next sit to nobody. Next to you, yeah. yeah. So boom, we do that. We take it to the rooftop. I still have no idea what's going on. I'm thinking that we're just going to get drinks. And then on top of that, so we'd been there before, but I didn't know that they had the other section. Like, oh, so she, the secret location. The secret location in the, the, the place that you've been. Yeah, that's Advanced. a good move. Advance. Because there's a place that you've been, but also you've never been. Been. Yeah. So we keep walking, and then she's just like, usually, you know, I let my lady walk first. Of course. The gentleman. That's I'm from what the gentleman's 90s, doing, born yeah. in the 80s, raised in the 90s. Mm -hmm. She was just like, no, yeah. you got to walk first. I'm like... Okay, oh, okay. Whatever. This is interesting. Yeah. yeah. So I'm walking, I'm walking, and then in, in my peripherals, I see my mom, my stepdad. So I'm like, the usual crime suspects. Okay. Oh, You're like, it's going to be a, a parent's dinner. Parent's dinner. Yeah. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Maybe my homeboy, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm walking, I'm walking, and I see that like the place turns, the room, I'm coming straight, and then it extends this way. Yeah. And then I see all of the, the our section, and it's, what, 15, 20 people there? 15, 20 people. That's a lot of people. And then I start, you know, my, my facial recognition is a little bit slower. And then my cousin, boom, takes the hoodie off, turns around, it's like, what's up, nigga? Yeah. And I'm just like, hold on, you can't, you can't surprise yeah, me. Yeah, no, 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 not yet, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I jammed them up. I'm like, yeah. oh, they got me. They got, it's all yeah. off for this. We got all of this. Now, now, did they yell surprise? Yeah, or? yeah, they yelled surprise. And you were surprised? Like a month? Yeah. I yeah. caught myself. I don't yeah. think I've never been surprised in my life. Really? No. Nah. Because you like to be in control. Yeah, I think I'm incapable of a surprise. Too much Virgo is. You will have to do my part, my birthday party, like in like June. Oh, uh, okay. And mine is in September. Yeah. For me to be like surprised. What about afterwards, like in October? See, I always just assume. I like to always assume that I'm headed to a surprise party for yourself. Like that's how I live life for yourself. Yeah. Uh. Like. If you invite me somewhere, I assume you're taking me to a surprise party for me. For you. Yeah. And okay. it's never happened, uh -huh. but I'm always on my toes that way. You want to be on your P's and Q's. Yeah. You don't like I, it, I've never walked into a surprise party yet, but if you invite me out in September, uh -huh. I imagine that it's I'm going to walk in and everybody I love surprise. is going to be like surprised. Mm. But they've never done it. Okay. So basically you're saying that to throw you a surprise party, we got to do it in July or in December. Yes, those months are probably the best. For okay, because we got Fourth of July and we got Christmas, so we could throw you off. Yeah, somewhere right. in that. But even then, I sometimes I, I will like if you invite me to like a Fourth of July barbecue, I'd be like, that's they probably close. gonna surprise me. Yeah, for yeah, this. yeah, and that's too close to September. Yeah, they probably yeah. gonna surprise me. All right, because you have August, hey. September, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Now, how was the night, man? The what night, were you, were you, you guys were drinking. Uh, there was a lot of drinks, mm -hmm. and mind you, so I didn't really eat the day. Yeah, I was wasted. I was what, what were you having? 
Tequila. Tequila. Cachegos. Nice. No, and then I everybody, thought maybe you was you was on your spritz culture. No, no, no. Because it's springtime, so mm-hmm. you know the spritz is making a comeback. It, it, this was this was we're going for it tonight. Yeah, yeah. Because you already had you had the Uber Black, so yeah, you had the Volvo. You knew the Volvo parked outside. outside. Yeah. So we. we th- <laughs> and what time was you there till? Um, not till too late because I'm 35. Mm-hmm. I was washed. By what was one. it like a seven to eleven? It was like a seven to one because we stayed. Oh, that was late. The, no, because we stayed. Uh, so the place it was like. We watched the game and then it converted into full nightclub. It went from like you know a uh, rooftop lounge yeah. to full nightclub, and we stayed for about an hour and then we got out of there. Yeah, one yeah. is pretty late. Yeah, in, yeah, in my book, yeah, like a party, but that's nice. Yeah, what yeah. else you do for the weekend? So then, so that was Friday. Then Saturday we did actually early Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, happy belated Mother's Day to any mothers on the check in. Uh, we did early Mother's Day because my sister, she got my sister in from Chicago. She flew basically. She invited everybody. Damn. It's crazy. Yeah. She was flying them out like crazy, IG models. Crazy. 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 Yeah. So uh, we did early Mother's Day on Saturday because my mom hadn't seen my sister in months mm-hmm. in Chicago. So we did that. And then I was DJing and actually DJing slash having a party for myself at times. And I went that was for turned it. up too? Went for a part two. Yeah. Ocho Palooza. Yeah. What'd you do on the actual Mother's Day? Uh, Nothing. I actually was recovering. And there's a yeah. lot of aunties that are mad at me because I didn't call a text like I usually do. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's good, man. That's yeah. good. Happy birthday Thank from you. all of us here. Oh, uh, they got me cupcakes, too. Big shout out to uh, Marty B, Johannes Johan AI. Thank you so much for the cupcakes. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no, that's great. They, they uh, What kind of cupcakes are they? Hold on. Should we share it with the listeners? Let me see them. Who the hell is Melissa? She bakes. I think she's from uptown. Oh, these are cute. I know. I'm they're, so excited. They're minis, cupcake minis. Because, mm-hmm. you know, we still got to keep that bad bitch body. Happy birthday. Oh, wait, there's a card? Happy yeah, birthday, Yeah, we all signed it. <laughs> <laughs> she so loves calling us early. I know. She likes a masculine enough. I know. To our face. But it's okay. Yeah. She got me cupcakes. Thank you. That's good, man. That was a, that was a, that's a big weekend. Yeah, really I feel like us. we haven't... Uh, I haven't seen you in like three weeks. I was in... Uh, I did... Sunnyvale, Cali? um, California. Yeah, I think I, I I spoke about that one in the in the last podcast. I was in Vancouver the uh, two weeks ago, and I had a situation at a show where I was uh, I was on stage. The crowd was like okay, not not great. It wasn't like a a, a great show. It was like Friday night late show, mm-hmm. and their hockey team was in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. So. Anytime, like, you go to a city where, like, their hockey, football, whatever team is in the playoff, that late show could be brutal because people go out to drink, Oof. watch the game, and then they don't want to go home. They're like, oh, let's go to the show. Uh-huh. And they get drunk or whatever. So you might get a little bit of a rowdy crowd. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was, but the crowd was okay. The show started, like, at 9, 30, maybe 10. Mm-hmm. Crowd is okay. Like, I'm, it's, it's, it's fine. It's not great. There's a couple, there's a, just a double date right in the front row. It's Whoa. a girl guy and a girl guy. Whoa. And they're wearing the gear of a... Of the hockey team, so I know they was at the game. What's the t- what's the name? Vancouver what? Canucks. Uh, Canucks. Canucks. Yeah. Right. What is a Canuck exactly? Uh, maybe like it's a, a duck, duck or yeah. a Canuck if you buck. Yeah. Right. Anyway, I don't know. Yeah. But anyways, so they're um they're there. I can tell that one girl in the group had a little too much to drink, mm. but she's with me. Like I I'll she's being obnoxious a little bit, but she's with the joke. So mm-hmm. I'll say a joke. And she'll, you know, I hate it, but she'll hit me with the, you know, that's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But she was, she was white. She was ad-libbing. Yeah. But she's ad-libbing the jokes. Like, yeah, you, you tell them. Yeah. Women do be like that. Does she add an A? You know? I yeah. Guess. So, but they're, so they're Canadian. So I'm like, all right, you know, like worst case scenario, like, you know, I tell them to shut up and they're going to be nice about it. Yeah. So I do, I'm on stage for like 40 minutes and I start losing. I mean, they keep drinking. So I'm, I'm starting to lose them because they're getting too drunk. Uh-huh. Like they walked in too drunk. Um, so by mid show, they already they're gone. They already yeah. They're, so by okay. mid show, the girl just checks out of the show. She's, she's gone. Like, she's not in the show no more. She's at the bar with uh-huh, her friends. Uh-huh. She's having and they're sitting front row. Yeah, she's having conversations with the, the people. Yeah, and I I see it from my like blinds. I keep seeing them be like Shh, to her like, uh-huh. like shut up, shut up, shut up. Uh-huh. So I'm trying to like I'm like. I'm being a professional. I'm like, let me let them 
quiet her down, not make a big deal. Mm -hmm. She keeps going like for like five minutes. She keeps going. A lot of people don't know this. In comedy, you need silence. Like a comedian needs silence. We use silence to build tension mm -hmm. that we cut with the joke. Mm -hmm. And we also need silence to keep our rhythm. Mm -hmm. Comedy is all about rhythm. Mm -hmm. If you're talking and yelling shit out, you're losing our, we're losing our rhythm. Mm -hmm. It's like somebody trying to sing and you keep yelling out while they're trying to sing. It's interrupting. There's a comedic rhythm that we have that you're interrupting. So I'm trying to fight through it because I know she's drunk and I don't want to engage drunk person mm -hmm. but at one point i just had to like address it i'm like hey what's going on and she was fine she was like oh no you're fine like whatever she's being a drunk girl and i'm like could you just stop talking like mm -hmm. please, like I, I didn't say anything mean i was like just stop stop talking i even made a joke with them everybody laughed it was mm -hmm. fine mm -hmm. i riffed with the guy a little bit i made fun of the canucks made fun of white people hockey canadians mm -hmm. all the things oh the whole spectrum about five minutes go on She's back. She's back. Just talking. And I see it from the front of the stage, just talking, just interrupting me. So I finished the joke that I'm in. And again, it's hitting with some people, but mm -hmm. I can't get the whole thing because they're stepping on it. Mm -hmm. They're stepping on my bit. So I can't hit everyone. Yeah. Um, so I, I I finished that joke. I have about five minutes left in the set. At this point, it's like I'm at like 45. I usually wait. Do about, how long were you doing? I usually do about 55 to an hour. Okay. So at this point, I'm at like 45. So okay. I got I could I could wrap up in five, or I could do 15, depending on how I feel with uh -huh. it. Like normally, if the crowd sucks, I'll do 50 and get out of there. If yeah. they're good, I'll do about an hour, uh -huh. hour, hour five. Okay. If they're good. Um, so I'm like, I, I turn to them and I'm like, listen. I said it just like this. I said, listen. I know that you've had a lot to drink. I know you just went out to see the game tonight. Your team won, you had a lot to drink, and then you ended up at this comedy show. I know you don't know who I am, and you've had a lot to drink. I said, I have about 10 minutes left in my set. I'll give you the option. I said, you could walk out right now. Like I saw you already paid your bill. Mm -hmm. I was like, I, you're obviously not enjoying this. Mm -hmm. You can just walk out right now. Let me finish the show for the rest of the people who are enjoying the show. Mm -hmm. Let me finish the show for them. or. You can stay here for the next 10 minutes, but please just be quiet. Like, allow me to wrap the show up. Cause mm -hmm. you obviously want to end on a big laugh. So yeah. I'm like, l l let me just wrap the show up. Like, I just have 10 minutes. You've made it this far. You've annoyed everyone here. Like, so just be quiet for 10 minutes and let me finish. Those mm -hmm. are your two choices. Mm -hmm. The guy goes, um, we'll, we'll do number two. And I'm like, so you want to stay? He's like, yeah, yeah, like our man. He's like, yeah, we'll stay, we'll stay. I'm like, are you sure? He's like, yeah. I was like, you could leave right now. No one's gonna like, it's fine. No harm, just, no foul. No just foul. leave. Just get up and leave. It's only ten minutes. You didn't miss. You wouldn't have missed most of the show. You paid your bill, right? If they would have left, I probably would have done another like 20, 25 minutes. Okay. Um, because I the rest of the crowd was good. It they was got robbed. Them. Yeah. So the crowd is on my side too. Yeah. The crowd, like when I'm like, you can leave. The crowd starts clapping, like asking, like, yeah, leave. So the dude's like, nah, we're gonna stay. So I'm like, cool. If you're gonna stay, just make sure she's been quiet. Mm -hmm. Allow me to wrap up. Cool. I get into my, like, I start doing my wrap up thing. I get into like my last few bits to wrap up. And and my last few bits to wrap up, they're longer bits because it's the end. You're trying to build like a the long big, story. Big tension. Yeah. Yeah. You're trying to build tension. So I have about 10 minutes. I get into like the 10 minute bit. She starts talking right away, like literally immediately. Like I, I, I'm i telling you, I, I said, okay, you're going to stay cool. I'm like, yeah. So I'm jerking off in an Uber. <laughs> and she's immediately starts Just talking. Going. Yeah. And I'm like, what the? I, I look at him. I'm like, dude, what I, the just, hell? We just talked about this. Yeah, and then I'm like, we just talked about this. Like, I just gave you the opportunity to leave. Before I continue, what do you think is the right situation as a man, right? Because it's a man dealing with a man. man. Like, I'm talking to, to him, him. Because he is her man, and she's had a lot to drink, and I'm addressing him. Like, this is your lady that you brought out. I saw you pay the bill. This is your date. This is your responsibility. You got my show. What do you think is the role of a guy there to his lady? To take her by the hand and say, let's go. I agree. Especially if you if you were not disrespectful and you addressed it in a gentleman manner. Like, yeah. hey, I'm because as a man or whoever, yo, if somebody's working, you got to respect work. People right? don't. Especially they, something like with what I do. People don't. Because they think it's fun. Yeah, they just think it's fun. They just think that they think... People pay $20 for a ticket and think they hired a personal clown to perform Ooh. in their living room. Mm. I understand completely. They that's, think I'm a, um, a personal iPod. Yeah. They, they think that's I'm a streaming think. service. Because they pay $10 to get in. Yeah. They think that they can ask you to play Bad Bunny all night. All night. Marty, what do you think is a girl's role if it's the opposite? Let's Marty say, B. I know you hate men, but let's say you're with a guy and he's being extremely obnoxious. Let's say he's drunk or whatever, and you're more sober than he is. 
and somebody's like telling you guys to stop, what do you think is the role of the woman there? I don't think that can be flipped because I don't feel think so? like, no, because there's like different expectations, I think, because if some if a guy's being really obnoxious, I don't know the situation that past saying let's leave. But usually if a guy is being really obnoxious, it's not like he's going to listen hmm. to you and be like, if you're like, let's leave. So I would probably just leave without him. But you but, <laughs> but you think you should say let's leave. Yeah, I think you should say let's leave. But I don't know if it would. If like it, a guy, yeah, through. if it would cut through and then yeah. if it didn't cut through, I'd just leave. But yeah. honestly, if I see you trying, that's enough for me. Mm. Like if I see you making an effort, like saying like, let's leave and trying to, I'll be like, okay, this person is doing reasonable is, is, is doing the right thing. There's one reasonable person in this relationship. Yeah. If you're both just sitting there like an idiot, even though you're quiet and the uh, your partner's being obnoxious. If I don't see you trying to handle the situation, I'm just gonna assume you're a, a unit of idiots. You are a conspirer. Yeah, uh, that's that's what uh, I imagine. That's the title, a unit of idiots. <laughs> yeah. Johan, what do you think is the role? As a guy? As yeah. A man, I mean, I would probably say let's go. Cause right. I was in a pretty like toxic relationship where it was like a lot of arguing in public. Oh, and it was like, like yeah. I that's like one of my biggest things is like let's not do things in public like let's oh not me look like me a fool. bro I'm like, I'm like you do something to me in public and it's, it's almost guaranteed we're it's done it's over yeah you make one scene over. in public we're it's, done it's done you not like only I have me looking crazy mm. you can't have me looking <laughs> and you crazy. Get, but, but you get paid for that yeah you, you can't have me looking crazy that's absolutely that's the out of the question yeah I found that I make good um choices with women and I haven't dated per se. For the most part, the type of woman that would make that a type scene. of scene. But I've have been on like initial dates with mm -hmm. girls that kind of give me the thing that they might, might do that. And, and I'm out immediately. There's no date too. And look, again, I don't want to be controversial, but if you out with your girl and she's drunk making a scene and you're a man dating a woman, control your woman. That's that's your responsibility. Is that controversial? Can we say that, Marty? HR? Yeah. Can't really say control. You can't not say control, that. Control, but you know control. what? I'm old school. Manage, not control, manage. but like you know, no, I mean control. Oh, okay. He means control. I mean control. Just do the same thing you would do the other way. Just ask, and if it's no, no, like I mean control, and I mean that in the most misogynistic way possible. Like take over the shoulder, and <laughs> I mean we're out of here. I, yes, you handle it, <laughs> and I feel it works both ways, though. Yeah, this isn't like a man thing. Yeah, this I think if the girl left, like if. Like how Marty was saying, I think if your girl left, I think you would come you to have, your senses you, you and just feel walk obligated out. To, right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I feel that if it were, let's say, it was a woman on stage, right, and a the, guy's and, and your boyfriend was being obnoxious to, to her, her, and she's addressing you as like woman, woman to, to woman, woman, it's like control your partner. Yeah. Maybe I'll say that. Is that better? Sure. That's how you clean it up. Control good, your yeah, partner. That's a good way to clean it's it not up. about the gender thing. Yeah. If it look, if both of you are drunk and you're gone, I understand it's no there's smart no, person. There's, there's no reason. There's no smart there's person in this relationship. At all. But if one of you is rational and reasonable, you should control your partner. Or control the situation. I know some women that'll grab you by your ear and, and pull you out go. and then smack yeah, you on the yeah. way there. Like stupid. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know you, you're not gonna be out here embarrassing it's me. Making me look bad. Yeah, like I know about these tickets. Exactly. I know women that'll do that. Now yeah. I don't expect you I to do it. that, Marty. I see that. Yeah, I, I would appreciate if you did that. That would be great, but I don't expect every woman to do that. Not every woman is built like that. That's true. Shout out to all the women from the Bronx. Right. But I do believe that if your partner is making a scene in public, especially if alcohol is, is part of the problem, but not only of alcohol. Also, if you are more reasonable or rational, you should be able to. And by control, I don't mean put your hands on yeah. or, you know, manhandle. I just mean take control of the situation. But you bring up a good point in the sense of there's also the times, and we've touched upon this, of, of like when you're out with your homeboys, where like, I got homeboys where they get to a point where no one can cut through, but there's only one person that can cut through, but the only reason that person can cut through is because you can manhandle them. You know what I mean? You can restrain them. You can, you're the one that could be like, hey, I'll fight you. Yeah. And then, 
Yeah. Grab them and take them outside. Yeah. And then they like after, you know, some air comes in, maybe some water. Then they were like, oh, man, I was tripping. Yeah. You know, but yeah. you got to have somebody to be that that counterweight. Right. Yeah. Right. I. Uh, so wait, Johan, you didn't finish saying you just brought you up love toxic, toxic relationship relationship and, then- <laughs> and, and arguing in public. Yeah. No, I mean, I would I would say let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Like. And if she tried to make a scene, I would probably just leave by myself then. Same. Mm. Same. Like, you ain't going to have us both looking crazy. You ain't going to either, you're going to respect me when I be like, let's go and handle this outside. Or you're going to be there looking like a fool by yourself. Because you make decisions, right? Yeah, you're not going to have me looking crazy. No, absolutely A lot of people, people be too comfortable looking ridiculous. I think, but that's 2024. Look at all of Instagram, all of TikTok. Like, that's what's celebrated. I'm from a I'm from a class where I seen this I've seen this all I've seen this with That's my classes, family bro. I've seen this with my with my with my, I'm, I mean a school not even a class <laughs> I'm from a school um, where I seen this with my family I seen it happen with my mom I seen there was times where my mom might have had a little too much to drink and by too much to drink I mean a glass of wine and you know and she starts acting up and you know my dad was like it's time to go yeah like it's time to go mm-hmm. That's what. That's why you have a partner. But that's that's what happened with me. <laughs> At the party this week? Yeah. I was Lucy Goosey. She was like, it's time to go. And I'm like, she's looking out for my best interest. Right. What what do you have a partner for if you're not looking out for each other when the other one is lacking? Yeah. You just true. both out lacking? That's crazy. That's how you get set up. That's you're how just you get too, caught up. You're just two clowns. That's how you get caught up. If you and look, I'm not saying that you can't be on vacation. And you on a yacht and you have on you on your 10th Aperol Spritz and now you're both making fools. But that's different. We you're need, in another country. That doesn't count. We're we, Americans. We need a sponsorship. Yeah, that that you know, that that's another conversation. But that yeah. doesn't count. You're doing it in Europe. They, you know, we're Americans. We're better. So you just whatever. What do you mean you don't speak English? Yeah, you just make a scene and then you go back to your <laughs> hotel and then the next morning you have breakfast like nothing happened. Hey. Yeah, you saying hello and yep. using their accents. Yep. That's what we do as American people. Cheerio. But I'm saying in real life. Life. In real life, you can't be out here both lacking. Mm-mm. When you go out, somebody has to decide who's going to make the fool of us tonight. And the other person refs it. I'm the point. If you're yeah. the fool, I'm going to be the point. Right. Yeah. That's to be the conversation. Yeah. Had. Now, back to my story. I felt like this conversation was not had by these couples. At all. By this Wait, couple. It, just, just the one couple. Well, it was two couples. There was one on the right side, and they were sitting next to each other, and one on the left side, they were sitting next to each other, and the table was facing like the stage. Uh-huh. The couple on the left side, they had it set up. Like, okay. you could tell that this is a couple that's been out. They've had conversations. Mm-hmm. It was no games in this couple. I mm. loved it. This was like a... They weren't Japanese, but they, they felt like a Japanese couple. A lot of honor and respect okay. in this uh, in this couple. They weren't like yelling stuff out. They weren't uh, being disruptive at all. In fact, they kept telling the other guy's girl, shh, shh, which that's embarrassing. So who yeah. was she talking to? She was just talking to everyone. Oh. But they was telling her to be quiet. Mm. Like I would bring up, you know, I'll bring up a joke like, yeah, you know, I couldn't get an erection. And she's like, oh, remember when you couldn't get an erection? <sighs> And I'm like, oh my God. So the 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 couple, the, the couple, the quiet couple, they're telling her, like, Shh, please be, be quiet. quiet. The boyfriend is kind of telling her to be quiet, but he's not being a man he's about it. He's not being forceful about nah, it. Nah, he's being uh, he's being a, a bit of a wimp about passive. it. Like, yeah, he's being a little passive about it. So I I give him the option to leave to get out. He says, Oh, we're gonna stay. We're gonna, we're gonna stay. So I go, okay. I get into my thing. She starts talking immediately. Now I'm getting angry. Mm-hmm. I'm getting aggravated. I look back at the dude. I'm like, dude, I asked you to stop we- doing this and allow me to continue. Now, in all fairness, at this point, the club should kick the person out, the- right? I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I don't do security for myself. Yeah. You know? You've hired me to come perform at your venue. To do a job. Yeah. You should allow me to do my job and I should be able to do my job safely. Mm-hmm. So at this point, the club dropped the ball and I had a whole thing with them. After. They didn't have no security. I had a whole thing with them after because they should come to the table and have them removed. Escorted. That out. is what you do. Yeah. At, like, the, you know, the artist, you're, when you have an artist in your venue, your insurance covers that artist. So it's your job to protect that artist under 100%. Any, any means necessary, whether it's the DJ, whether it's ever. We have to have the ability to do our job. To do our job. Nobody came over to say nothing to her. So I'm starting to get aggravated now. I'm like, yo, I told you, I asked you to leave and you didn't, and you chose not to leave. And now you're being disrespectful and you're interrupting my show. Once again, you've done it for the entire show and I've asked you to leave and you didn't leave. Like, what is wrong with you? Like, mm-hmm. what is, like, 
think about this as a person. Like you, I'm, I'm literally saying this stuff, ag aggravated. I'm mm -hmm. like, you came to my show, you paid money to see me. There's hundred people here that paid to see me mm -hmm. and you're interrupting all of them. Everybody. With, with no care or concern for anybody else. This is their Friday night. They got babysitters. I'm only, I'm not from here. I'm only in town. They came to see me and you don't care that I can't give them a show cause you want to be drunk and you want to talk. And the guy goes, the guy goes, he goes, just continue, shorty. I said, what'd you say? <laughs> I'm ready to dive into the crowd. I can't even imagine why you did it. I'm ready to dive into the crowd. <laughs> I didn't really, I didn't really piece in together what he, what said. he said. I didn't really piece together what he said. I'm like, what you said? Again, nobody from the club comes over, nobody says nothing. Uh huh. I'm like, what'd you what'd you say? And he backtracked. Like uh, he saw, he, he saw how, how, yeah, he, he saw you get serious. Yeah, he saw how how angry I was. Uh -huh. He backtracked. He was like, he was like, I said, just continue. And I was like, but what was the other thing yeah, you said? Because you said it. Yeah, I was like, I, I, it was the other thing you said. And and then people were like, they saw the tension. Uh -huh. And people was like, nah, just just don't don't make it like just just go on, just go on. And and the, and the crowd starts telling me they're like, just move on, just move on. And I'm like, no, don't tell me to no. move on. This is my show. I move on when I want to move on. Uh -huh. Now, what did you say? Like you said it. Right, you you yelled it out in a public venue. Now just say it like a man. And the girl goes, "You're a fucking asshole." Just yells that at me. Literally, she's like, "You are a fucking asshole." <laughs> nobody walks over. Nobody says nothing. Still, it's one. On, we're going one on one. It's a, it's a free fall. Everybody for themselves at this at this club. So I go to her. I'm like, I'm an asshole. I said, hold on, let's black track this. Show's over now. I said, yeah, I mean, the show's done. <laughs> show's over. Show's done. I'm like, let's what? backtrack this. Cause now I'm having like a meltdown on stage yeah. because I can't stand stupidity. Yeah. I can't stand, I can't, let me have a drink. Oh man, that's <laughs> crazy. I, ladies and gentlemen, I really wish that we had a camera on Marty B cause her face is all, <laughs> woo, this is a story. So she goes, you're a fucking asshole. And y'all know this is a family show. I don't like cursing. I only say that because this is the, you story, have to tell the story. And I want y'all to know what happened. Woof. So now I'm fuming. Like I'm I'm fuming. You hot. And I'm in I'm in Canada. You know, I'm not like and it's, it's cold not like, over there. So you know you gotta get hot. It's not like you in New York, right? Like you in New York, you kind of know where you at, you know what's what. Uh -huh. Canada, I like I just say my hood. I don't know what's what. You uh -huh. know, I don't know. I know they don't, you know, I know they kind of saw. Uh-huh. <clears throat> But I don't know, you know. I, so think, I think the song is "Day Not Like Us." I'm just playing. It was just it's too easy. <laughs> but I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be like. I'm trying to be like respectful. Uh huh. But I'm losing it. I'm losing the, my ability to respect. So I, uh, I tell the guy. I was like, "Hold on, I'm an asshole." I said, I don't even know who you guys are. I don't mm. know who y'all are. Mm. Y'all just some random white people that came to my show. In Vancouver. This is my show. Like, my name is on the marquee out there. Uh huh. That's my name out there. Mm -hmm. Like, I they flew me here to perform this show. I'm not in your space. I didn't come to your house. I didn't come to your bar. This is my place. Like I perform it. Not only am I here to perform, like look around, look at everybody else. They're here for you. They're here to see me. They're here because they want to see comedy. You are not allowing me to do comedy. You're getting in the way of me doing comedy. How am I an asshole? Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I swear, I don't make, I'm not making this up. The girl goes, and I, I had to hold everything not to laugh. The girl goes, that's why you have a little dick. <laughs> I, I swear. No. I, I swear. We're not talking nothing about penises. At nothing. all. At all. She just yells out, that's why you have a little dick. Again, no one says nothing to her. Where's, no on. securities coming up. Where's Nothing. the club manager? Oh, they got an earful after the, they got an earful after the show <laughs> with me. I'm like, I'm like, what? <laughs> Who told you that? First of all, <laughs> where do you get off <laughs> saying stuff like that? Who do you think you are? Yeah, I, and I'm trying to like, I'm trying to not laugh because I'm mad, <laughs> but it's also but that's laugh. also like that's a hilarious comeback because yeah. it has nothing to do with anything, <laughs> with anything we're talking that's about. What's going on? That'd be the worst. And she's saying, that's why you have, like, what's why I have a little dick? <laughs> so she, so um, the, the other couple, the quiet couple is, try, the, is trying to tell her, like, calm down. Like, yeah. please. Like, but they're please. not being assertive either. No, no. Like, they're like, they're Canadians. Uh, you know, they don't know how to be what assertive. What part of Canada is she from then? Yeah. I, 
So they're they're trying to like calm her down, and I'm like. I'm riffing like with the audience and mm -hmm. I'm making fun of them mm -hmm. and it's getting laughs. Mm -hmm. Like it's getting like enough laughs. Can we just talk about right there Please. where <laughs> you're mad, but the comedy brain is always working. So you're just like, hold on. Number one, this is hilarious. And number two, you're still paying attention to the laughs. Yeah. That's a trained professional. Yeah. Cause you still, you know, you still have a show to put on. You can't, I mean, listen, I've been there before when comedians have complete meltdowns. Yeah. I didn't want to have that. Okay. I, you know, I wanted to still have some semblance. I didn't, I, even though I was shaken because I was mad, mm -hmm. I didn't, I wanted to have some semblance of like keeping the show together. Together. Yeah. yeah. So the, the one couple trying to calm her down and uh, like tell her to shut up. She's telling me I got a little dick. <laughs> um, I tell, I tell the, so I'm looking now, but now, like I'm still getting laughs because I'm roasting them. Because mm -hmm. listen, don't go to a comedy show thinking you're going to win yelling stuff out the crowd. I got a microphone and I've also experienced this way more than you. You're a professional. So yeah, so it's going to be a hard, it's an uphill battle for mm. you regardless. Even if you're like really funny, you don't have a microphone. So it's like people can't even hear what, hear you're, what really you're really saying. saying. So it's like, you're just going to lose. And I have a microphone, I'm amplified. And also I have lines, mm -hmm. like stop. Like this is what, you, this is, you're a professional. Right. So I'm, but like at this point, I'm I'm really like, I'm thinking like, I'm going to have to see these guys outside. outside. Like I'm going to have to see these guys outside. The New York woke up. Yeah. So, um, so I look at the guy and I'm like, so you're not going to leave? And the guy's like, no. And I'm like, all right, so I'm done. Like, I, I'm done. And at this point, it's like 55 minutes. So, so did, they got their show you did already. Your show, yeah. They got their show already. I do a couple more minutes. Like, mm -hmm. I, I start um, like roasting them or whatever, a little bit. Not nothing crazy. Uh -huh. Just making fun of them. Like, I was making fun of the dynamic. I was just kind of like, what kind of man, like, let's is like, because I feel like as a man, you shouldn't really. This is just look, people might think this is not right to say, whatever. Take it out is this is real life. This is the clip, Johan. This is this is real life. <laughs> I, and and you you could you could you could side with this because this is real life. As a man, uh huh, you can't just have you can't just allow your lady to run off to at another man and tap dance. So, yep. Unless you're ready to fight. There's consequences. Because you don't know that man. Nope. And there's crazy men out there. In the world. Right. There's crazy men out there. You don't know if he's crazy. You don't know if he's the type of man that will assault a woman. You don't know if he's the man that got a gun on him. We see, so, we, we've seen all of those examples. Right. So I think as a guy, it's, it's your role to like monitor the de situation and de-escalate it. De-escalate. Right. De Especially if the guy's not coming at her. Yeah. If you're talking to you directly, if, you're, if, if it's a man talking to another man directly and to address an, a, the woman's actions. So clearly there's some kind of like gentlemanship here. Right. Right. It's just like, all right, you know what? This situation is out of hand. She's clearly intoxicated. Maybe she doesn't even act like that when she's sober. Right. But of course he, he, he doesn't wear the pants in the relationship. He doesn't wear the pants in the relationship. That is the problem. Too many, too many pant wearers in that house. So, uh, long story short, I end the show. I'm backstage. I'm pissed. You backstage. Yeah, I'm pissed because also then, I don't I don't care too much about them. Whatever the people that paid, but the I'm money. like, yeah, there's people that paid to come see me, and now they couldn't have a good show, literally because of just one, one person, really one two, yeah. just a couple, but really just two people. I'm like, y'all y'all sacrificed 120, 50 people just for two people in selfish, the audience. Selfish. If y'all would have removed them, the show would have been amazing. Bro, so selfish. That's like when someone comes and requests the most random mixtape song when the club is popping, but it's like my friend's birthday and oh, we're about to leave. And then like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll play it. Excuse my language. Yeah. And then the whole dance floor is clear. The whole dance floor. And the they don't care. The whole dance floor. They, they don't, don't care. care. Like, oh, and then they just look at you like, oh, well, you didn't play it right. Like, what, what are you talking about? This is, uh, anyway. Exactly. It's exactly that. So I'm hot. I'm backstage. I'm hot. And I, you, you travel dolo, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm by myself. But also, like, I'm, you know, I'm not like, you know, I ain't scared. No, no, no. I'm saying, but like, like, also, I you ain't talking smoke, like, like a, the kids say. Your manager or something would be like, what is this? This is totally right. inappropriate. So I hit up my Whole manager. Life. I yeah. hit up my manager right away. I'm like, listen, a lot of this and that. I'm like, yo, I'm not coming back here. Like, they don't respect like comedy, comedy. They don't do that, whatever. I'm 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 hot. Like, and I'm talking to the other comics. I'm hot. Were you the headliner? You, you yeah, closed? yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I am? My name's on the marquee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know that I'm headlining. <laughs> I'm just making sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Long story short, 
to wrap this up, were you gonna say something? Were the other comics locals? Like they were yeah, just like, yeah, they were locals. Did yeah. they have and they just like, let that fly? They did were they, Canadians. Yeah, did they say it? But did they say anything that that like? Happened? Yeah, they was like that was terrible. They was like we, that's horrible. Was there an A? They were like they were like talking about the club. <laughs> they were like talking about how the club is is like irresponsible for allowing that. Like a? this is just responsible. Okay. Yeah. They, they was being Canadians. I okay. think they had like Canadian bacon. I don't know. They put whatever they do. Yeah, poutine, they had poutine, poutine with them. What is it? Okay, I anyway. Mean, so long story short, I'm, I I stay in the green room because I'm like, let me you, cool down. Hot. I'm like, yeah, because I'm like, You're if I go hot. downstairs, I'm gonna I'm gonna it's, get into it with the manager. I'm gonna yeah, because that was very irresponsible what they did. I'm yeah. like, what if they would have threw something on stage? Exactly, attack me. Yeah, like, that could have got ugly. Not to mention. I've seen stories of fights breaking out in that club. So oh, I'm like, in that particular yeah, in that particular. Club? I'm like, this why this why oh. fights break up, break out in here. So, long story short, I'm in the green room. I'm just hanging. I'm out. I'm available on weekends. Yeah, I might need or Q, right? Yeah, Your boy. Yeah, Q. Uh, 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 Quez. Quez. Yeah, yeah shout Q out security. Danny. I'll yeah. be seeing them with like rappers and stuff. That's what he does. Yeah. Um. So I'm in the I'm in the green room. I'm like, all right, let me go on uh uh Instagram. I'm scrolling, you know, butt models. I'm trying to get my mind right. Yeah. So work the algorithm. I go on my. I see. I got a DM request. I get a DM. I open the DM. It's from the girl. No, it's oh. from a guy. Oh. It's from a dude. The dude hit me up. He's like, shout out to him. I forgot his name, but he's like, yo. Um, he was like, yo, that was a good show. Like you did a good show. Like don't worry about that girl or whatever. Um, she was like a mess. She don't represent us as Canadians as people. She was like a mess. She should have been kicked out. And she almost got knocked out by my girlfriend outside. Mm. I said, what happened? He's like, yeah. He was like, they was outside trying to start a, a use, uh, Ian Sucks chant. <laughs> I, I saw the video. I swear, I'm not making this up. <laughs> she was like... <laughs> Which, in hindsight, look, it's funny now. But, but at the time... At the time, it was not funny. <laughs> She's like, he's like, he's like, they're outside the venue in front trying to start an Ian sucks. Ian sucks. They it's just them. It's just them two saying that. It's just them two. He walks out with his girl uh -huh. and he's like, no, you suck to uh -huh. her. He's uh -huh. like, no, you suck. Uh -huh. The girl starts taking off her stuff and charging at fight. the dude, charging at the dude. And he's like, his girl was like an MMA fighter or something. His girl steps in the way and he's like, hey, like, I'm going I'm to lay you out. Like, if you continue this. If you come, yeah, at, if you come at her, I'm going to lay you out. Like, trust me, you don't want these problems. And I guess then she sobered up. She sobered up. And she went home. <laughs> nah, bro. Moral of the story. <laughs> Control, Control your, your woman. woman. <laughs> That'll be the name of this or, episode. Or she's going to get MMA'd, bro. That's crazy. Well, you live and you learn. Can we do a uh, space facts? Some space facts. Big space facts. Hold on, let me find a let me find a good one. Oh man! All right, this is a this is an easy one. I'll give you guys a quick one. Um, our solar system is a uh, like the Earth, the Sun, and all the planets is a tiny, small part of the Milky Way galaxy. Mm -hmm. In fact, the Milky Way is just one of billions of galaxies in the universe. Billions. Mm -hmm. Each galaxy has billions of stars. Mm -hmm. Imagine billions of suns out there in space. Mm -hmm. Some galaxies are spiral shaped like ours. Others mm -hmm. are shaped like ellipses mm -hmm. or even irregular forms. But they predict they're over, I think, two trillion stars mm. in this galaxy. And that's just the observable galaxy, mm -hmm. which they think may be just a tiny portion of the entire universe. Mm. Big Space Facts, brought to you by the Adult Hub Pod. Volume 58, thank y'all for listening. May 20, welcome to Spring Baby. Come back next week, we'll have another episode. <laughs> Peace.